So we just saw the passing of another reform uh, an act, a new forex regulation uh, act, as well as uh, the directions that were sent with it. Um, and with us here today, we have um, Sumeya Markin Marker, who is head of compliance at Cargill's Banks, to shed some light, especially from the banking sector, on this new regulation and what it uh, implies for business. Thank you for being on economy.ak. Um, there's a lot of, I think, changes now that's going on in the banking system and with this new Forex Act, we're seeing more onus trust from the previous uh, exchange control department of the Central Bank towards the banking system. Um, how, how does it, is, are the banks sort of ready for this? Is uh, what, what will the banks have to do to make sure that the implementation process goes ahead? Okay, sure. So like any other, any other regulation, uh, when something comes out, uh, a new people are a bit skeptical, right? But this is something that I think was a long term. 1953 was the existing act. So we've seen the new act that came in and it came. It was operationalized on the 20th of, of November. So what we did see was from the banking perspective, uh, banks are classified as authorized dealers under the new act. And there is a lot of delegation of authority to the banks. Previously, uh, we had about 18 regulations. So now they've clubbed it into five, five main categories of uh, uh, regulations where they've bunched up, uh, for example, the former NRFC, the RFC uh, example have been clubbed under the PSCA. So you have capital transactions account and current transactions account. Um, the, so the issue I see is uh, they've got 50 new directions to supplement uh, the regulations. You've got four regulations with the with the gazette and 15 re, uh, directions. So it is again a question of interpretation. So that's going to be the key, and I think it's it's going to be a learning. The first few weeks is going to be a learning. We've been very engaged with the regulator, the central bank, and the Department of Foreign Exchange, previously known as the Exchange Control, and we are working together in trying to implement. So there has been a lot of authority given to the banks, but saying that there, the banks uh, cannot get away by you know just approving every single transaction. There is a, a bona fide that needs to be checked, underlying transactions that needs to be checked, information requests, and declarations, documents. So we also need the support of the business community to understand that and work with us so that uh, the objective of the new act can be achieved, which is simplification and and drawing off inward remittance and for FDI into the country. I think that sort of recaps everything uh, in terms of the challenges for the banking sector. So thank you for uh, being on Economy.org and sharing your views. Okay, thank you.